Today we are going to talk about what is Cypher blockchaining. Cypher blockchaining uses what is known as an initialization vector, IV, of a certain length. An initialization vector IV, is XO read with first block of plain text to produce first block of Cypher text. IV is a data block that is that same size as the Cypher block. In CBC, each plain text block is XO read with the immediately previous Cypher text block and then encrypted. On decryption, the IV is XO read with the output of the decryption algorithm to recover the first block of plain text. According to the previous description, which means each cipher text block depends on previous plain text block process up to the point. Therefore a strong dependency between consecutive blocks is created. Now we look how the CBC works. First the plain text will zero with the initialization vector IV. Once the process has done, it's sent to the DES to produce cipher text 1. Following up with the cipher text 1 is used as an initialization vector for plain text 2 and sent to DES to produce cipher text. This process to continue until all the plain text have been encrypted. For decryption the cipher text will be sent to the block cipher decryption and the result will be produced. The result will be used to produce an initialization vector and plain text by using the XOR method. Here is the XOR method. The XOR operation will compare and produce a plain text bit by bit. Other than decrypting the cipher text, the current cipher text will also be used as the initial vector IV for the next process. In the second process, X or operation will compare and produce the plain text 2 from the cipher text 1 and the result 2 will be produced. After that, cipher text 2 will be used as the initial vector for the next decryption process to produce cipher text 3 and the flow will continue until the plain text is fully decrypted. Thank you for watching.